anyway revoke.cash um is where you is one place you can go you can also go to etherscan they have a token approvals thing so we'll look at both but if you want me to disconnect but here you can just go and this is just like a tutorial wallet i have obviously you know it's probably best to never use your actual wallet on any kind of stream right it's a good idea so man. <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah. So for more you than one reason. Your wallet. I'm sorry. For more than one reason. Yeah. There's many, many reasons why. I just use a test dot, test wallet for everything. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, as you can see here, I had granted permission to compound, and I don't even. And it tells you when. I don't even remember why I did that. I think I was helping someone who wanted to get on compound, so I went and did it myself to just see. But you can see it's unlimited allowance, which compound is trustworthy. USDC, you wouldn't expect like your stuff to get drained. But basically, if, if you had some sketchy stuff here and it says, oh, look, you're giving unlimited allowance to this weird DEX that like you forgot you even interacted with. That was super sketchy. Um, you just click revoke and then you pay a little fee. So I'm going to log into my hardware wallet and enter the pin. We did a whole tutorial on the hardware wallets last time, like I said. So if you're confused about that, definitely check that out. And then I approve it. And then I approve it on the hardware wallet. So it's like two factor authentication. And now I've revoked permission. And so what's interesting is earlier, this USDC was showing here on revoke.cash, but it wasn't showing up on my Ethereum token approval thing. So maybe it's worth going to both and seeing just in case. I don't know why that was. It might've just been like an interface kind of glitch. Hmm. Okay, now it shows up. So. Yeah, that's weird. Earlier, it was only showing compound. It wasn't showing the USDC. So it could be worth just going to both. Just uh, why not? You know, it's pretty easy. And then I'll revoke USDC. I'll show you guys that. I mean, it's so simple. Um, it's not super intimidating. And then I'm going to show you how, well, how did you, how did I even give permission in the first place? Like, you're like, have I given permission? I don't know. So, I'm going to do go to Uniswap. And, and just to clarify for people too, using a hardware wallet to, with revoke.cash to add or remove permissions and stuff. So, I don't have any USC, but let's say, you know, so if this was, maybe you forgot or whatever, but okay, earlier it let me, maybe I didn't revoke it yet. I oh, know I did. Earlier I was able to approve anyway, even though I didn't have USDC. Oops. Well, anyway, if you just saw it just flashed up and it said approve USDC, and then I would have paid like a $2 fee. But what's cool is we can actually go to the, the uh, test net We will go to PulseX. Oops, I haven't added. Oh no. All right, let me stop sharing real quick and let me add the uh, Pulse Chain test net. Sounds good. Sorry, I forgot no that uh, last stream I deleted MetaMask to like show people. We did a very thorough. Um, last stream so so somebody asked how do you delete metamask you're like i'll show you <laughs> yeah. nice i think it was i was showing why well, whatever we want to get into it just go watch that if you missed it i feel like a noob i'm pressure's on because we're live and i'm like where are the pulse chain rpc settings and then here they are in pulsechain.com I don't, we're not live. I never hit the go live button. We're, you're good. We got time. Oh, really? Okay, cool. Man. 
All these people are really lame, huh? In the hex community, God, man. Yeah, I don't. I'm just. I'm just here. You know, I just. I'm just trying to. I can't even say I'm trying here to try to make money because I don't monetize. So, like, how, how can I say the reason I'm here? <laughs> I'm here just to take people's money, although I have no way to do that. So, yeah, I, I was going to be with you to to do the fake banter, Ben, but I don't have much on that one. Sorry. <laughs> all right, putting the putting it all in. Nice. Coffee. Oops. Sorry. I'm a little embarrassed. No worries, man. It wouldn't be a demo if uh, something didn't go not perfect. All right. I'll share screen again. Sorry, everyone. Little detour. Do you ever want a bathroom break, coffee break? All right. We're back. We're back. Here we go. Oh, look. I had some TPLS on there. So here we go. I have some Pulse and some Pulse X. And if you didn't see, KDP, I think she's responsible for reaching out to revoke.cash to get them to support the Pulse chain testnet. So that's pretty cool. Um. So let's try and do a swap here. Got the big bucks. I think. Oh my goodness. So here, here it is. I have to enable PLSX, okay? And this is. This is me giving approval, and Arch Max, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm giving approval to the smart contract to access my PulseX because I trust that they're not going to just take as much as they want. They're only going to take what I say they can, correct? Assuming when you click that button, it uh, tells you to, uh, about the limits and what to do with them, <laughs> then uh, yes, I think you're on, I think you're on the right track. Yeah. Oops. Well, I don't have enough TPLS, but. You get the idea. Was was that explained well? I think people understand. All right. You, so what uh, for PulseX? You were explaining. Uh, I was I was just showing like I we revoked permissions, and if anyone was confused as to how they even enabled a permission in the first place, this is how. Like you pay a little fee and you enable the permission. Gotcha. gotcha. So that's yep. really all I needed to show. <laughs> So, yep, so people might have forgot, oh, yeah, the first time I swapped, I did have to enable something. And you just forget about it because then from now on, you can just swap as much as you want because you've already given permission. Um, so if you wanted to revoke permission, you would go to revoke.cash like we did. And it would show up here. But because I haven't paid this fee, because I'm a broke... You know what? To, what am I even net, thinking? Exactly. I'll just go here and claim some freaking free pulse and go all the way with this thing. Sorry, I'm I'm go. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I had a pretty no long worries. day. So. I know you just got off with fruit not too long ago. I don't blame yeah. you. Yeah, it's a great pulse? demo for using the T T uh, T pulse faucet here. Everyone. All right, there you go. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So this is where you can, if you didn't sacrifice or whatever, or you want to around with the testnet on a different wallet than your sacrifice wallet literally all the links are here on the pulsechain.com the faucet uh, the explorer stake bridging so all right and now we're rich and we can do it whoa now rh max so this is where I don't know if you guys remember earlier, it said unlimited spending on the on the compound in the USDC when I revoked permissions. So here, isn't this a new feature? I think I I learned about this from Crypto, Crypto Coffee, where you could put a cap on how much is allowed to be to be spent. Can you see uh, the screen? I would say it's a new... Uh, I can't see any uh, kind of cap or anything you're doing. Can you see okay. this now? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, and the general the general stuff with that is, and I think Coffee talked about this too, is if you 
it's so unclear you know we got okari.o and saying some interesting stuff in the chat too about just the different words and and things they use and it's so confusing on enable approve like like what there's there's nothing that can <laughs> i wish they would just make it where it's like you know exactly what's going to happen the average person using the internet knows exactly what's going to happen if they click this button and they're not going to be less safe from doing it and so you know it's like, oh do i put max do i put you know half do i put just what i have in my wallet it's all these answers and I think the general consensus right now is if you trust the DAP and you're not you're not using some super important wallet, right? Which you shouldn't be doing anyways with any DAP that you don't want to lose all your money. If you're using just a wallet that has some stuff in it used for transactions, blah, blah, blah. Then if you super trust, if it's Uniswap or if it's, you know, PulseX, you know, we know those are made by people who have their head on straight and less likely to get hacked, all that stuff. There's always a chance, but it, you know, a lot of people say do max for that. Otherwise you're going to have to do more transactions to adjust it and or revoke it and all, go through a whole bunch of stuff like that. Um, so it's, it's, it's that really, is, um, it's that not, does bring up, it's not a great answer though. Yeah. It does bring up a fun topic of how like we are like crypto is like a new thing, like different people call different things, different words. Like it's like, there's no clear definition of things. And I think, a really good example is hex staking where that staking isn't technically the right word for hex because you're not validating uh, a network. You're just, you're burning your coins actually. So um, right. yeah, there's, there's pe different people might call something, something different. Uh, so it is kind of funny, like just shows we're so early gang. So early. I'm tired of being early. Actually. I want to be like, can I be like midway through? where we all got the mad gains already and we're, uh, we're laughing at people buying hex at $10. Can I be like midway through? <laughs> early. Yeah, for real. All right. So last part of this just completely botched tutorial. <laughs> we go back here and let's see if I did that. Oh yes. Thank goodness. So now you see now I, I, pr I gave permission and now I can, I can revoke. I'm blowing all my my test PLS for you guys. Sheesh, making it rain. <laughs> so hard to get. So so valuable. Yes. And everyone that says to touch the key. Oh, this is a good point too. So what would happen if you clicked that and you weren't using a hardware wallet? I would just approve it in MetaMask, and then that's it. And if you were if somebody hacked your computer, that'd be pretty bad, right? Cause they yep. could just hit approve and they don't have to like touchy touchy your physical device there. Right. Right. That's where hardware wallets really shine is, is especially if you get hacked and you know, and unless they, they physically hack into your house, like they, they get into your house, they get access to your hardware wallet, which is plugged in your computer and they virtually get it. Then uh, yeah. Hardware wallets can, uh, can be useful for preventing that. Hey, I need to actually physically touch something else that you can't get access to on this computer, even if you compromise it. Yeah, I'm gonna link. I'm gonna link our last thing in the chat because, like, that was that um, demo for the last stream. Does a really good job of explaining the hardware wallet stuff. Um, but gotcha. Yeah, you want right. to wrap up with? Uh, I mean. Just for people who joined too recently, what what you just explained, how to how to revoke permissions and stuff. Um, yeah, so at the end of the day, if you've approved, like you've enabled a coin on a DEX or whatever, you have given permission to the smart contract to access your funds. So if you you've done that on a sketchy place, you would want to go to revoke.cash or Etherscan. Uh, token approvals so if you're on ether scan you go to more you go to token approvals and then you just connect your wallet this way and if you have given approval to a malicious smart contract then it doesn't matter if you have a hardware wallet it's like you had a safe but you left the door open to the safe or you gave the code to a to a jerk. You thought you tr you could trust your friend, and you gave him the safe code, and then he went and stole your money. And you're like, "Hey, I had a safe. I thought I was safe. I thought no one could get my money. That's the point of the safe." Well, if you give access to your safe to someone who's not trustworthy, they can still take your money. So this is kind of like 
taking away that access to your hardware wallet, taking away that access to your safe to what could be sketchy. So if you've, if you've gone around and done sketchy stuff in the DeFi space and you thought, well, I don't use that anymore. So I'm safe. Well, if you enabled, if you gave that sketchy thing permission, you never revoked it. It still has permission. So you need to go back and, and revoke it as soon as you can. 